Canadian Faye Ray made about a hundred movies, but was most famous for sharing the screen with one big star. Okay, maybe the biggest. In the 1933 classic, King Kong carried her up the Empire State Building. Ray died this weekend in New York at the age of 96. Melissa Fung reports. It was the screen that started it all. And it was the role that immortalized Faye Ray as the histrionic girlfriend of a gorilla. They'll learn about it soon enough. Is that what I said? <laughs> I thought it was very amusing. <laughs> Ray did make more movies than King Kong, but Kong made her an icon of American pop culture. A very long way from her humble beginnings in Cardston, Alberta, where she was born. And although she moved to the United States as a young child, Canada would always be home. She came back 11 years ago when her hometown dedicated a fountain in her name. Even though I left when I was three years old, there was so much talk about Canada, particularly from my mother, uh, and, and the beauty of it, and the flowers that grew in the wild, and the wild strawberries up there where I was born. And, and so I felt that we had left an enchanted land. Her niece remembers Ray as a lady who never forgot where she came from. She always thought of herself as a prairie girl, you know, having that kind of pioneer, get to it, get through it kind of spirit. And that was very, very important to her. I'm so glad to meet I'm you. Friend. She was still very active in the industry well into her 90s, most recently spending time with director Peter Jackson, who was remaking King Kong. Ray also became a friend to director Rick McKay, whose documentary about Broadway features her in a small role. Her last public appearance on opening night of the film and at the party at Sardi's afterwards, the famous theatrical restaurant, and she was the last person to leave the party at 96 years old. That's the kind of person she was, and that's the kind of friend she was. For some time now, I... I haven't been feeling too well. So. She worked hard to make anyway, sure her other films and other directors would be remembered. But she said she knew there was one relationship that would outlive everything else, even the actress herself. Melissa Fung, CBC News, Toronto.